I was gonna do a cool intro, but you know what? I'm not gonna throw all that wood on there. I was just gonna throw it down there and make it look cool, but we'll just, we'll just leave it on the ground because I'm kind of lazy, <laughs> lazy, don't want to pick it up. Oh, there you go. There's, there's, there's Robert's intro for the day. Uh, we're gonna be making some raccoon traps. Actually, we're just gonna make one. And then we're gonna go up tonight and we're gonna try to catch some raccoons with old Peric. Peric made a trap the other day. I don't know if it's working. He made his out of a trash can. I'm gonna actually build mine out of a wooden box type material. It's gonna be pretty cool. But I wanna let you guys know that I stopped by the, the Twitch stream the other night. Thank you for coming by and hanging out with Demo and I. I did order the Mini 14. The Mini 14 was ordered this morning. All those donations you guys threw in, we, we ordered a Mini 14. So we got the bad ass Mini 14s coming in. So now. Let's get to cutting. So we'll go at 18 and we'll make it a three foot box. And we'll make it a three foot box. That'll work. Three foot, three foot high, like this way. No, that's way too tall. Oh my God. It's gonna be 18. We're gonna go with 36 on these ones. So my envisioning was kind of just a tad bit off. I should have got Ones that weren't as, as wide. I don't even actually know the exact size of these ones, but I should have got, whoops, should have got ones that were about that thick. You know what I mean, Jellybean, like like this. I don't really know that what, what that would be, some sort of corner piece, but this is what I was going for. So you got these are 36 inches and the top's 34 inches, and these are basically gonna hold, screw in just like this. I don't think there's gonna be that much of an issue when it's that, you know what I mean, that thick. Cause there's gonna be a lot of room in here. And then we already got the spray paint behind that we used for the guns and uh, well, not really badass thing over there. I think this is gonna work just fine. I don't really know what I'm gonna use for a door yet. I haven't got that far. Okay, look what we got. We got a little bit of a peeking window for ourselves. So we can actually see what's in there. I think this one will do just fine. I don't think I need to stick one on the other side. So I think we'll just do one for now. Well, anyway, that'll, uh, that'll pretty much do for that window. Looks pretty snazzy, I might say. Okay, here's the box. This is the back end. I still got to put a back on it. But this is pretty much how big it is. This is what we're working with. Basically a box with a hole in it. <clears throat> yep, looks pretty box-like. But I did put some uh, more brace in the back. And this would be good right here. The, the only thing that I'm kind of thinking is that when it comes time for the door, I don't really know if it's going to be a swinging door or a sliding door. I don't exactly know right now. Don't have a clue. It has to be a sliding door because there's no way to keep the door closed if I drop it. So it's got to be a sliding door. So the next portion I'm actually going to show you was not 100% my idea. I watched a couple of videos and I saw somebody doing this and I thought this was the best way to do it. I didn't exactly have the right tool to do it. So I did it a really sketchy way and I didn't really feel like filming it because I didn't want you guys to follow suit. Cutting this thing in half with a uh, skill saw was, was fun. So the idea here is these will be here right along the edge and then something, I don't know yet, maybe a piece of wood is going to slide down and it'll just kind of keep it from, you know, coming out. I'll drill it into the wall because this is a smooth surface and well, I don't really know what else to use. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We got the trap all kind of set up. I will say this, I didn't square it off too well. Uh, I had to put this here because this isn't, this is 16 and a quarter at top and then it's 17 and a quarter on the bottom because I kind of, well, like I said, not squared off, but it works. Look at that. We're good to go. String's going to be coming up, attached to there. It's going to come up to a pulley system. It's going to go like this. Pulley system's going to be going across the yard like that and then drop and then hopefully, you guys get the idea. Hopefully there's a raccoon inside there. I think we need to spray paint it. I think we need to make it more like a green color. This might work. Okay, here it is. We got a time check. 2.41, so that's, I don't remember what time I started, but that's pretty much what we got going on. Painted everything, even, even the inside, just because I know how smart these raccoons are. I don't really know if this is gonna deter them, but I think it looks pretty good. I will be bringing this for sure, because we're going to need this. A little bit of PVS-14 action. I'm also gonna bring this. I think I'm gonna take a cute cut. Ooh, find your words there. Now I'm gonna bring this. I'm gonna practice some more. I do think I, I, I talked to you guys. Well, I didn't really talk to you guys. I listened to the comments and you guys said, I need to take away, because right now I have it set to 20, 25, and 30 pins. I need to take the pins and take, and kind of move them to 20 to 30, kind of get rid of the 25 pin. Ah, just kidding. Hey, I gotta stick this fat dongle thing up. Yeah, we got it in my pocket. Uh, I'm gonna say this Fisherman Dan. Yes, Fisherman Dan was the guy that won. I guess I would count it as a winning thing, but he's the one that it was a selected name of the fat dongleness. Yeah, there you go. Fisherman Dan, fat dongle, 10.2. Oh, it's already got sticky stuff on the back. Well, I don't have any fingernails. 
Da na 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 na. Oh, still some plastic on there. Oh, where do you stick it on a piece of wood? Right there, right there. That's kind of weird. Oh, nope, right here. There we go, fat dongle. Okay, this is not gonna work. There you go, Fat Dongle Fisherman Dan, or, well, there you go, Fisherman Dan. We got the name Fat Dongle on there, thank you. There we go, that one's been ordered already. Now we just gotta kinda wait for it to come in. I didn't really think this one through. I guess I should probably drill a hole in it, huh? Also, oh my lands, look at these. These are two little, I guess you would call them prototype shirts that came in. That's pretty clean looking. That's pretty clean looking. I don't know, those might go up for sale. I have no idea, but those are, it's nice. You guys want to know what's the actual juice for these for these raccoons that we're going to be going after? It's not these right here. Yeah, we got Jeff Pup Marshmallows. I already know Parrot's been getting it. He's been trying to get it. He's been trying to catch these things, but we all know I'm the real raccoon slayer. Well, we're going to have to set that up here in a second, but I'm telling you right now, this, these are the juice. These right here, uh, I've never used, but I bought every single honey bun they had inside of 7-Eleven. These right here, We'll call them. Those are the call of the wild for raccoons. But take a look at this. Okay. That is Peric's little setup and design. I mean, he, he pull it, I guess. Wow, that didn't, that didn't work very well. Let's try that again. Still didn't work very well. Okay, well you guys get the hint. I guess you just kind of pull and it drops. That's what he's, that's what he's made. That his, that's his design. I mean, it's in there pretty good. But I mean, you got, I mean, look at my box. It is nice. I mean, it's blended in. It's good to go. I made a handle for it. 550 cord works for everything. I mean, come on. This is, I did bring the other traps. We got four in the backyard. These are the have a heart, the normal ones. <sighs> Should be, should be pretty decent. I mean, look at this box. I don't really know exactly where we're gonna stick it, but we're gonna figure that out right now. So I'm, I'm, it's not gonna be, it's not a push trap, so you gotta actually pull it. You know what I mean? You gotta actually pull to drop it. But it's gonna be on a pulley system. But I'm thinking to put it, I might be sitting up in the window up there because I have nods, so I'm thinking maybe we can put it maybe back in there. They really congregate over here. They really congregate over there. So we have a Nest camera in the backyard, which is real-time live feed. So I have this cord running, as you guys can tell, to the fence over there, which I'll show you in a second. But we got the pulley system, which is going to be connected to that. I'm hoping that the normal stuff happens. You guys know all the claw marks that are all over this fence, all over this fence. So they come up over this, this portion of the fence, and they run that way, and they really congregate around these trees right here. I don't know why. They just absolutely love coming around here, mainly because it's probably where we throw all the food at to try to snag these suckers. But I don't know. Is this going to work? Strong enough? Hmm. Issue number uno. Pulley's up. Pulling as much as I can, not even holding the door up at all. Should have known that was going to happen. Way too much sag. How am I going to fix this? Moving to plan B. Plan B is uh, sitting up here with apparently all of... Well, peric has got a cameraman and he has got like a lot of cameras. That is a lot of cameras. It's like, how many GoPros? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six GoPros? What are you doing with six GoPros, cameraman? He's, look at all the... Oh my gosh, he's got housings for every single one. Oh, well, I guess he's got a job, I guess. But uh, this, this is what we're, we're gonna do. This cord. Neighbor's got a good pool, didn't even know about. I wish I can go swim in that thing. Look how clean it looks. Anyway, then down there. There is the trap. We're just gonna have to hand jam this sucker. Just gonna give it a good toss. Oh man, I had it so pretty like. You down there? You good? Okay, that should be enough. Let's go ahead and tie this off to this table just in case I pull too much out. Okay, it's up there. There's no tension on it, as you can see it's still closed, but it should be good. I just need somebody to come here and hold it. See, look, and then I think we'll need to go up maybe to about there, maybe probably. I put a camera here, that's a new spot, and we got the nest, and then over there. Good to go. Time check, 5.56. I might sling some arrows down at that target for a little bit. Ah, it's a little low. I mean, I think I'm getting just a little bit better, but that is, I would count that as a little low. Maybe a dead deer. Let's try again. Oh, I think this is, I think we're a little bit better now. I think that's pretty good. I listened to you guys. Whenever you guys were telling me, you know, you need to keep your, your left arm like kind of loose, you know what I mean? So you're, you, I, actually, that's what I've been trying to practice doing. Instead of being really stiff with it, it's kind of like, you know, let it loose. I can actually see the, the level thing. It's, it's just a little bit easier to keep it level, so. 
I think I'm pretty actually happy with that. These targets, you know, I'm, you know, I don't even need to walk down the way. I'm gonna walk. Down. Those ones right there, those, you know, the square ones that you normally shoot. Just thought about something. I remember when I was in Afghanistan, somebody was reading a book. I think it was called the Art. I think it was called the Art of War. Possibly, someone probably will correct me, but I think it's called the Art of War. And they actually showed. This is actually kind of. This is true. They did a study, and it said back in the day, back in World War II, they used to shoot like circle targets, uh, like the practice, like circle targets, like uh, I don't know. They used to be like big green circles. That's all they would use target practice. And then they switched from circle targets targets to like man shaped targets like human body size targets like in the Vietnam and it went from like people were at, maybe might have been a uh, god I think I'm getting it wrong here I don't want to be wrong but I, it might have been from World War One to World War Two anyway it was from between the wars between one of the wars they switched from using circle targets to silhouette targets and it went from like the average person was 20% likely to actually shoot shoot somebody by by like using the circle target and then it jumped to like 70% like something crazy like an astronomical jump because they were actually they were so trained like to shoot the silhouette that it wasn't that big of a deal. It's like a mental game. But I was thinking outside, you know, I need to buy one of those 3D targets. Why am I shooting a block? If I'm gonna shoot a deer, why don't I buy a 3D target? You know what I mean? That doesn't make any sense. So I know exactly what, like training. So yeah, there you go. There's a, there's Robert's words of advice. Wow, find your words there, buddy. Robert's words of advice, but I, Hello, there goes my sunglasses. But I know they're really expensive, they're like 150 bucks, but I'm still gonna grab one. Whew, there's a mouthful. I don't know if it's the Art of War of the book. I know that it's a book. I think it's the Art of War. I think it is, I think it is. But that's, that's actually why the military went from circle targets to silhouette targets, to train the person mentally that it's, I don't know. <sighs> wow, that was a mouthful. Guys, there's a raccoon right there. Look at him, look at him. Raccoon, what are you doing? You guys see him, he's looking right at me. He's on the fence. Look at him. Are we having a stare off with the raccoon right now? Where's he going, raccoon? You see him? He hopped over the other side of the fence. I came outside to finish baiting. It's 7.56. First sighting of the raccoons. Okay, everything is set out here. Cameras are on, cameras are on. Ricky was just over the top of there. Yeah, Ricky, I'm coming for you tonight, baby. Coming for you. But you know what, it's time. It's time to get the darkness on. Uh, gotta lock it. I've been thinking about something, ladies and gentlemen. You guys see this right here? Might have to shoot a training round through him. <laughs> I'm just, just kidding, YouTube, calm down. All right, here's a test. We're tight, we're good, tight as a tiger. Boom. All right, okay, I just gotta figure out where I'm gonna tie this thing off now. We're completely set up down here, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of marshmallow action, sprinkle that stuff. Oh, yes, there you go. Throw them in that box. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll wanna go in that box. Maybe they won't notice these random strings hanging from the roof. That's, that's a, I think that's plenty of marshmallows. The problem is. That's probably plenty of marshmallows. Yeah, probably. They ate, dude, I left the whole bag out here yesterday and they ate um, The only problem is that they're coming at like 4 a.m. And we're gonna Good. pass out. So you guys are looking at Ricky the raccoon through my night vision. He's right there on the edge of the fence where the light hits it. He's that little shiny object right on the corner of the fence. Give us a time check, Barrick. 1030, 10 is a time check. So this is what it looks like through night vision. Barrack, has got, this is, we got the night cam going, but it looks kind of funny on here. I think this looks a lot better just like this. Okay, you guys ready for this? Time check, 1133. I'll go ahead and take one of those, I don't care. Cause I'm old enough. I'm about to enjoy myself a little bit of a Stella. With my beautiful, beautiful animal in the background, the neighbors have turned off the lights. Is a big, is a big sucker back there. No, not the kudu. Is the, is the raccoon back? I don't think so. That's him. Let me see it. There's eyes. There was eyes on the camera. That was Ricky the raccoon. He's playing games with us right now. I was always, I made the joke that I think Ricky's going to end up getting 65 pounds of pure awesomeness sent through him. I don't know if that's legal or not. But there he is. Look at him moving. I think you guys can make any more noise over there. Ricky the raccoon, I see you, buddy. I'm watching. I'm telling you guys right now, that raccoon is so smart. He left already. No, he's there. I'm looking right at him. I saw him leave on the fence pole. He's there. He's oh. there. So what are we going to do? Just wait? No, yeah, we have to wait. That's all we can do. He's trying to order some food. You want to order some food right now? What time is it? Time check. 11.38. Here are your options. Here's the... What do we got? Uber Eats? Wild turkey. I had oh my god tacos the other day. They were pretty good. Something I'm not going to pronounce. I don't know how. The raccoon is there. The really, really, really smart one. I get to this window. Shh. Penis. Uh, Ricky, I know you're down there. I just saw you. Oh, yeah, he just kicked on my. That's my. Uh, that's not Ricky. That's not Ricky. That is also. 
That's my, uh, he's being recorded right now by my, my night cam. My trail camera, look at him. He's that big one, he's right next to my trap. There he is right there, what is he doing? He's out in the middle. Oh yeah, that's my trap. Oh god, he's smelling it. What are you doing, Ricky? Oh, he's smelling my trap. Oh my god, oh my gosh. Look, look how, look at that raccoon. He is so sketched out right now. Ricky, what are you doing? Get out of my backyard, get inside that freaking trap, you son of a gun, you. Dude, he's going towards your trap. Hey, did you pull mine? How did you pull mine? You just gotta yank it real hard. Okay. But yours is good. Okay, Ricky, he's getting on, he's getting on Barrett's trap. No, he's turning towards your trap. He's turning towards mine now. Oh, God. For everybody at home that has never watched any of these videos, we are dealing with some of the world's smartest raccoons. They know traps. They know everything about these damn traps. Ricky's the worst. This one right here. This is Ricky the raccoon. He's so smart. Look at look at his eyes. Look at his little beady eyes. What are you doing, Ricky? No, oh, I'm just munching on these marshmallows. Oh yeah, these marshmallows taste so good. Oh my god, he's going towards your trap. Is he going in? Is he going in? Watch Perry accidentally pull his trap. Don't you do it, Ricky. Don't you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think Ricky's gone. <laughs> oh, I'm hoping that my outside cameras were recording what just happened. Do you have it on? Can you put it on replay? Yeah. God, this is so like this is. This is watch that like a This is this is this is the smartest raccoon in history. This is Ricky. This is the infamous Ricky. <laughs> he was inside a peric strap. He pulled it. And <laughs> he blew out a peric strap. He. <laughs> He destroyed his trap. Ricky is not coming back tonight for sure. Oh, here it comes. You guys are about to witness what exactly happened. Did it? Oh, yeah. God. 100% oh, in there. Oh, he was going in. He was in there. Look, I said his tail's gone. <laughs> oh, God, here it comes. Look at you pulling your string. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> Ricky is not being caught, I promise you. This is this is the only raccoon I know that won't be caught. The honey bun's in there still? Dude, you should just reset it up and see what happens. See if one of those smaller raccoons come. Oh, they're coming, but I mean, he just, he, that just tells you that door just got blown off. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, for sure grab some marshmallows. I mean, he ate the marshmallows. I think we're good in there. Good honey buns all around. So everybody that's been on the channel for a while, you guys know that Ricky the raccoon has given me problems ever since the start. He is the only raccoon that's been able to get out of cages. He will open up cages for the other raccoons. And I think that's plenty. I think that's plenty. I think just throw some like on the leading you know, going up inside there so you can maybe get him to walk in there. Don't need to give him like complete diabetes. It's because it's a 40 pound raccoon. That's a huge raccoon. Or not 40 pounds, but it's big. He's about as big as you. Yeah, so. He's a giant raccoon. That thing is absolutely monstrous. But. Oh, you guys can't see me. I guess I'll get back with you guys here in a little bit. Hopefully, hopefully. I mean, it's 12-11. I got a flight in a couple hours to go to Louisiana. But we gotta get this raccoon. We gotta get Ricky. Oh, good old fashioned time check. 12.54 a.m. Nothing, nada. But don't worry, I got alarm set for 318, four and five, just in case I fall asleep, which is a pretty big possibility, but there's nothing. You know what, we need to add one on here. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's go ahead and edit, add, let's go ahead and add a 215. There we go. We're gonna wake ourselves up every single hour. We're not missing anything. Oh, this could suck. Oh man, it's nine o'clock. I got to fly out in a couple hours. I fell asleep. Wow, they didn't touch anything. They didn't touch any. Well, that's shut. Is there anything in there? So all the honey buns are still intact. I, I'm gonna grab all these, uh, all these cams. I cannot believe this. I fell asleep. It's nine o'clock. I gotta fly out to Louisiana today. Wow, in a couple hours. Whoops. Oh, don't you love when you try a new camera angle and it turns out to be like probably one of the worst camera angles in known to man? I mean, this is pretty much the best thing ever. Take a look at that. Oh. 
Got a good shot of the ground there. Good job. Yes. Way to go, way to go. And just so you guys know are aware, Ricky did come back last night. Uh, Perrick did check his stuff, and he was going through it. And Ricky came back. The one that he, you guys saw earlier where he dropped it, and the raccoon ran through the thing. I really think that maybe we had got written, writ, written, 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 rid of the uh, the raccoon problem we had at the house. And I'm seriously con contemplating. I got the last memory card in there. I'm contemplating I might have to start going out to the land. This one should definitely 140% have raccoon footage. Like, for sure. Oh, there we go. There it is. Yep. That's the Ricky. That's Ricky. Telling you guys. Slyest son of a gun in the world. Yep. Well, uh, hey, what's going on, New Orleans? Uh, oh, nothing. I'm just kind of... Yeah, that's right. There's New Orleans behind me. And that is Perk and his camera guy up front. Yeah, just we're, we're cru cruising, cruising down to... Uh, where, where are we going? I forgot. Venice. Venice. We're going on to Venice. And I'm going to throw it out there. I was actually looking at some of the raccoon video footage on the airplane, and I realized, well... Those raccoons came in again last night when I was taking a good nap and uh, you know all those alarms I set, they, well they didn't really work. i uh, just gonna throw that out there. Yeah, so this was a total utter fail from uh, myself and Perrick, mostly just Perrick because he let me down oh, by letting by me go way, to sleep. What's yeah, that? By the way, oh, they uh, came and stole the bait out of my trap but no other traps. Did you notice that? Yeah, I did notice they that. Need to build more with you know, you know, what, you know what else I noticed is that the raccoon actually, I have it on video of him standing up on back his back of his legs and grabbing onto that that rope that's connected from yours onto the ceiling. That's why it was down. He pulled it down. But over the next couple days, we will be heading out into the deep blue sea. Actually, no, we'll be going shallow. We're gonna be going out through some redfish. That is right. The next videos you guys see will be nice, sucking the beautiful red fishing videos. But you guys know what? If you guys have not seen that video right there, I'm doing it in the back of the car. If you haven't seen that video right there, you need to click on it. Click on the video right there if you don't see that one. And subscribe down below. Other than that, I love every single one of you. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'm about to disappear right around.